So, hey guys, um, apologies for yesterday's upload. I'm using a new laptop and new video editing software, and my ending got cut off. So, without further ado, here's the ending for yesterday's video. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. So, yeah, so these, I think this one is my personal favorite. This one looks awesome. I'm going to dial in my settings towards this. I know to look for high res photos. Uh, I kind of know what my speeds are that I'm looking for, depending on this wood. Um, and I guess depending on the woods you're using, I haven't even experimented with that yet. If you're using a darker or a lighter wood, if you need to adjust kind of your speed or your darkness or whatever. Um, engraving plastics, I'm going to definitely be looking into this, right? Because I kind of want to um, do some cool stuff with this, right? So, um, yeah, I think um, I like it, um, as I say. This is a low res image. This is a high res image, like night and day, right? So now I know that um, I'm gonna be looking for high res images and um, you know, playing around maybe a little bit with Inkscape and a little bit of this combined. I think we can have some really cool stuff here. So is a laser engraver for you or not? Well, that depends on you. Um, do you have some stuff that you can imagine doing with it? Then sure, you know, why not? Like I said that for, um, I bought this relatively cheaply off of Amazon and I added it relatively inexpensively to a Tronxy and got it up and running no problem. Tronxy has their own one. I didn't buy that. I bought a Creality one. Um, Tronxy probably would have been wired properly for the printer, but long story short, uh, any of these laser engravers will pretty much work for any printer as long as they're wired in properly. I'm going to be playing around with this. Will it be a permanent fixture? <sighs> Probably not on this printer, I'll be honest with you. I actually have down yonder, I have an old DaVinci uh, XY um, and it's 12 volt system. I could probably just hook that right into the 12 volt system and actually turn this sucker into a laser engraver. It's all enclosed with a fan in there. Um, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. So yeah, inexpensive. I already have it kicking around. Um, by the way, you probably pick one of these up used on Craigslist or something for 50 bucks, honestly. And to convert it to a laser engraver, it shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, that's about it, right, guys? So, um, I'm glad you watched the video. Um, if it was informative to you, if you have any software guidance for me on anything that will work with these lasers better... Let me know below in the comments, please. Like, I'm, I want to learn this stuff, right? I think it's pretty cool, right? You get some decent quality stuff out of it. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, please hit the subscribe button. It's your first time in the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, keep on modding, guys. Okay, see ya.